Welcome into Longhorn Extra. I'm Jane Slater. We've got a packed show for you tonight. Quandre Diggs and Jordan Hicks join us, but we start with the man that has won more college baseball games than anyone else in the history of the sport. Texas head baseball coach Augie Garrido. How are you, Augie? I'm fine. Thanks, Jane. You know, I got to tell you, the high of 81 degrees <laughs> Wednesday here in Austin. Is this baseball weather or what? No, baseball weather will come on Saturday when it's game day and it's 59 degrees and pouring down rain. What's up with that, Augie? I'm going to be at that alumni game. I, I got to get out the rain gear for it. I put it. you in charge of weather. <laughs> What'd you do here? I totally messed this one up. I apologize. <laughs> I'll try to get better at it. Talking about that alumni game, what's this event like for you? It's uh, it, it's really emotional. Uh, it goes back uh, to Omar Kintani and some of the early teams that established the foundation for uh, the championship teams that we've had recently. And uh, getting to see them again after they've spent many years in the major leagues is, and the life that they're living and the good that they're doing in our society really is thrilling. Do you have to humble some of these guys when they come back? Absolutely not. I'm humbled by their presence. That's awesome. All right, well, let's get back to last season. You got in Texas to a record 35th College World Series. What made last year special for you? Uh, probably the attitude of the team. Uh, they had a spirit that uh, people recognized, and that spirit is what I like to call, uh, they, caught, they, they got on top of the magic carpet and rode it through the intangible forest where all good things about baseball happen. And uh, that only comes to special teams that are absolutely selfless and playing for each other rather than themselves and servicing the team and the university with everything they have with the best effort and, and they legitimately got there. It was such a competitive series. Yeah. How hard was that to be just one game away from the finals? Well, been there, done that, and uh, it is hard. Uh, there's only one team that really feels good at the end, and the closer you come to the grand prize, the harder it is. But in my experience in having three teams that have finished second and three teams that have finished third uh, in that College World Series, the players walk away from that experience with a lot. Uh, sometimes in losing, you never want to have that feeling again and for the rest of your life it drives you to be the best at whatever you're trying to become so all is not lost uh, we lost the national championship but there were a lot of rewards for the players to take with them for the rest of their lives and several of the players deciding to come back because yeah. they want to get back there you had your first official practice last friday what was the players response since getting back to the dish well i think uh... they're very upbeat and uh... we did have a fall season in which uh, we tested their mettle in relationship to where their attitude is now because people change after they have a lot of success. You know, there's a lot of verbal ice cream out there for the winners, and so they ate as much as they could. And as they got back to work and um, having to adjust back into a team environment is always challenging, especially when you do well. Sometimes when you win the national championship, it almost impossible to repeat because you can never get the team as selfless as it needs to be and uh, this team has been able to do that so far. All right, you talk about the selfless nature of this team. That'll be tested soon. <laughs> Texas opens the regular season February 13th at Rice. What are the biggest position battles heading into the game? I think the pitching uh, on the pitching staff is probably where the biggest battles are. I think that uh, right now, we could go around the, the lineup, and, and uh, Barrera has separated himself behind the plate. Boswell at third, Hinojosa at second, uh, Marlow, I mean, at short, and Marlow at second, and, and a freshman, Travis Jones, at first. Uh, the outfield is much the same as it has been with a better Ben Johnson in left. Uh, Gerwitz, who played third base for us last year will play center and uh, Colin Shaw will play right and that's pretty well said. Uh, we don't know who the DH is going to be at this point in time and we don't know who's going to be the starting rotation at this time but we do have good arms and some good uh, division one players. You know it's hard to believe this is your 19th year at Texas. You're entering your 19th season in total you've been coaching what close to 50 years now? I didn't count that. Well I did it for <laughs> you. How's that? Have you you're thought, a better counter. Have you thought at all about when you're going to walk away from the game? I know you get this question a lot. Yeah well I should. I mean just look at me. <laughs> hey look, yeah, I should. from the last time that I was here in <laughs> Texas you have not changed a bit. Augie. <laughs> the um, uh, I, I I don't think of it that way. I, I think of it as uh, 
what can I contribute to the University of Texas and what can I contribute as a teacher to the coaches I work with, the staff that I work with, and the players that I work with. And uh, as long as I have good health and, and the energy to uh, continue to be effective, uh, you know, you, you know when you're not effective. And uh, uh, that's when it's time to, to say goodbye. But uh, I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it. You know, I covered Larry Brown last year when he was the coach at SMU. Yeah. And talking to him, kind of having a similar conversation, yeah. I wanted to ask you, does it change for you too, kind of the goal in your job? For him now, it was really about building, you know, a lot of these young men. Well, earlier in his career, he talked about the wins being important. Uh -huh. What's it? What motivates you now in the job? Uh, taking the personalities of the players that we have and developing them into a team. Uh, I think that our society is about a team and teamwork. Uh, our university, one of the mission statements at the University of Texas is uh, educating one student at a time for the betterment of society. And I think we're doing that by teaching teamwork. And I think that uh, working with the different personalities keeps it very exciting and different. And uh, uh, just having my own effect on the people around me and being affected by the people around me. I need both things. and. Uh, you know, in our game, you can't really tell who's responsible for the winning or the losing. And uh, so we don't even know what percentage belongs to anyone. So anyone can have any amount they want. Uh, and uh, for me, it's, it's the interaction and the relationship with the players and the people I work with. Well, I think when you decide to actually hang this up at some point, I think you're going to make an amazing food critic. We know you're a bit of a foodie. I love the show Home Plate. How much fun has that been for you doing that show? I mean, we were already talking about it before we stepped in here. Yeah. You know, when, when uh, Dave Brown came in first and, and uh, said, Augie, we're going to do a coaching show with you. And I said, Dave, I, I really don't want to do that. He said, why? I said, well, I've watched all the great coaches, Pete Carroll, uh, nobody has more personality than that guy does. You can't watch a coach's show for over five minutes before you turn the darn things off. Why do you think I can do it? And he kind of looked down, shook his head, and he says, um, and I said to him, I said, but I will do a food show. He says, what? And I said, no, I'll do a food show. And he was brave enough to let me do it. And I'm having, it, it's going to be, it's going to continue to get better because we know more about how to do it now. And we've got so many great chefs in this town, young, exciting chefs creating all kinds of things, winning all kinds of awards. I mean, it's just part of how this town is blazing hot with uh, all sorts of social choices to make, uh, whether it's restaurants or music or uh, sports or what, whatever it is, this Austin is just the greatest place on earth right now. Well, I'm excited for the home plate when we get to see you uh, back at it. I know, but right now you're focused on nothing but baseball. Coach, we appreciate you stopping by uh, the show, and we'll see you this weekend. Look forward to it. Are you coming out the ballpark? I will be there. I'm going to be covering some of your games this year. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my soul. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Always fun with this guy. <laughs>